Come in today and check out the great selection of all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs at Ronnie Thompson Ford in LJ. If you need a new vehicle, Ronnie Thompson Ford is the place to go. Just off Highway 515 in LJ, where you will become a customer for life. That's Ronnie Thompson Ford in LJ. Hello and welcome to the Gilmer County Coaches Show presented by Ronnie Thompson Ford. I'm your host, Will Cooper. Today we got to catch back up with Kevin Saunders as we discuss their loss to Fannin County and look ahead to next week as they will face off against Towns County this Friday. Coach, thanks for being back with us. I'm glad to be here. So Coach, this past week you guys had the opportunity to play Fannin County. Uh, probably didn't go as, as expected for most people, but what was your takeaway from that game? Well, after watching film, uh, we played a little better than, you know, than I thought we did at times. Uh, we're very inexperienced, which, you know, we knew that going in. And, you know, they got 18 seniors or whatever, and we got six, and we're just really young in spots that we need to be older at. So we just got to, we just got to play. We just got to play games and get better. Uh, we moved the ball for the most part and then we shut down and, and it was just some things that just the experience caught up to us and the fact that they were bigger and stronger than us. We haven't had a whole year in the weight room with these kids yet. Uh, we got to get bigger and stronger and those are things that we will do and I think you know in, in the building process of building a football program these are things that are going to happen and uh, I felt going into the game I think we should have played a little better. Uh, we didn't, we did not do everything everything correctly like we should have but I think we're gonna get better with it so you talk you always talk about building a program at, at your new school here do you think you took the first step in the right direction towards building your program on Friday yeah I think we're going forward I, th I thought we played hard I thought we were fairly physical uh, we didn't back down uh, we played with really good effort. Uh, we got overmatched sometimes. Uh, we forgot some of our assignments that we should have, but that's just from lack of experience and lack of playing. I think we figured it out. I think we had three kids that saw any varsity snaps last year. We're on the field last year. Friday night so you know and that's not an excuse we should have played better but uh, we're gonna build on it. Moving forward you got Towns County this Friday what are your impressions of that game? Uh, they got a very good football team they got a very athletic quarterback they got some speed at receiver defensively they got two really good linebackers uh, we got to take care of ourselves and then uh, I think the other night we got too wrapped up our kids got too wrapped up in the Fannin County being a rivalry and uh, we weren't really ready for it in that regard um, but we just got to take care of ourselves and cut down our mental mistakes and then if we do those we'll have a chance to win. And what is your key to that game? I know you just mentioned the mental mistakes, but is, is there an element that you're looking for? Well, we just got to sustain drives. We were three for 10 on third down conversions, which is terrible. Uh, we got to be at least around six, seven on third down, around 60 to 70 percent on third down, especially as young as we are. That means we're controlling the clock, we're keeping the ball, and then that getting, keeps the other team off the field. Uh, for the most part, our kicking game was pretty solid the other night. We just just got to keep getting better at everything we do and that's the whole process you know as we're building a program not for one game but for not for one season we're building it for years to come so we just have to keep doing that well coach thank you for your time this is the coaches show on wlj go bobcats